when you've had a belief proven to you over and over and over and over again, it just becomes like this knowing, this knowing that you are always guided, you are always loved, you are always protected. I feel like when you are operating from that place, you are operating from the highest frequency. So first and foremost, let's talk about frequency. What is frequency? Frequency is a measure of energy that is based on your emotions, your beliefs, your thoughts, your attitude, your identity. It is a measure of energy that can range from low to high. We always hear like, oh, that's low frequency, that's high frequency, that person is experiencing low frequency thoughts, that person is experiencing high frequency thoughts. And to me, it's just a measure of consciousness. And I believe that frequency determines how you feel, how you show up in life, and also subsequently what happens to you in life. And I believe that low frequency can stem from, you know, being in fear. I think that when you are in fear, You are operating at the lowest frequency that you possibly can operate from. My shaman talks about this all the time. He says fear is the worst, 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 worst place that you can succumb yourself to because fear is something that keeps you trapped, something that keeps you stuck. It's not even real. It just keeps us self-perpetuating this limiting reality, worshiping the problems, that we don't actually even want. Versus high frequency, when I think about when have I operated at my highest frequency or when I meet people who just their energy is glowing, it's radiant, they are operating at the highest frequency that they possibly can, like what makes me feel that way and what do I notice about those people? And what I notice about those people as well as myself is that when you are certain of being guided, of being loved, of being protected, when you are certain that there, you have this spiritual connection that, that has got you no matter what, it's like chaos can ensue in your day-to-day life. You know, there's external forces that we feel like we can't control, we have no say in, we have no part of, and yet we seem to be okay inside. We seem to have a regulated nervous system. We seem to be adaptable to changes. We seem to find ourselves in a place of surrender. And I think it just comes from that knowing, not just belief, but knowing. Because when you've had a belief proven to you over and over and over and over again, it just becomes like this knowing this knowing that you are always guided, you are always loved, you are always protected. I feel like when you are operating from that place, you are operating from the highest frequency. So there's things that you can do and not do that either keep you in a lower frequency or a higher frequency. And this is something that is crucial to me and so important to me, especially because I know that so many things in my life, literally everything in my life, everything in your life, stems from the energy at which we operate. Our energy guides the way that we act and how we show up in this world. So if we're not taking care of our frequency, if we're not taking care of our energy, we are not going to show up as the best versions of ourselves. And if we don't show up as the best versions of ourselves, then the whole world, because this compounds, you know, each person compounded, these big groups, the big collective not operating at the highest frequency, not being the best version of yourself, that then creates this world of chaos. So I believe that if we have a regulated nervous system, which is cool, calm, collected, adaptable to changes and challenges, knowing that God has got us, source, universe, angels, whatever it is that you believe in, and then making healthy progress, in life. A lot of people think that it is achievement that makes us happy. I actually think it's progress that makes us happy. If you are just, if you feel like you're progressing in life, you're just moving forward, you're taking little steps here and there to get you to your desired reality, to your dreams and goals. I think that that's what actually makes you happy because in the end, it's not about the destination. It's actually about the journey. 
And so many people, the most successful people in this world will say the exact same thing that I just said. So I think it's really about feeling like you're making progress in life. When you're operating from this consciousness, you are operating at a high frequency. And if we allow the outside world to dysregulate our nervous system, which is really easy to do, it is really easy to do. I still get into traps here and there. And I'll share how some of the things that I share that I say that I never do or don't do, like even I think two of them at least, I'm still working on. I'm not perfect. I'm not super strict in those areas. Sometimes it still affects me, but it's all about what? Progress. Exactly. 